coming up on around Kern County with triple digit temperatures as far as the eye can see. Kern County Public Health is sharing how you can stay safe this summer in the heat wave. And before you know it, it'll be time to head back to school. How the library is helping students get ready for the classroom when around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. It's no secret our region is experiencing a massive heat wave, and we want to make sure our communities stay safe. Kern County Public Health is working to educate residents about how to beat the heat this summer. Here are a few tips. Drink plenty of water, even if you're not thirsty, and avoid drinks that contain caffeine, alcohol, or large amounts of sugar. Avoid outdoor physical activity during the hottest parts of the day and wear a wide brim hat to cover the face and neck as well as loose fitting clothing. Regularly check on any elderly relatives or friends who live alone. Many may be on medications which increase the likelihood of dehydration. And never leave infants, children, elderly or pets in a parked car. It can take as little as 10 minutes for the temperature inside a car to rise to levels that can kill. Public Health also wants residents to know the signs of heat-related illness and what to do in the event of heat stroke. Well, there are three major heat-related illnesses that everybody should know about. The first one is cramps. If you're outside and sweating for any length of time and you start to experience muscle cramps, that is because uh, you're becoming dehydrated and with that, you're losing salt. And so you need to get to a cool place, drink some water, uh, eat a snack, or drink a sports drink. The next one is heat exhaustion. That's basically when your body is starting to go into shock. You're profusely sweating, you've been outside for a period of time, you're sweating. Your skin, however, is becoming pale and cool to the touch. That's a sign of shock. You might be getting dizzy or lightheaded, nauseous, you might vomit. Uh, if you start to feel that way, you need to get inside immediately to a cool place and drink uh, some water or sports drink, like I've stated, eight ounces every 15 to 20 minutes. You never want to drink a large amount at one time. And if you get to heat stroke, then your, your body has stopped sweating. Your body temperature is increasing and it's above 103 to 104 and you need immediate medical attention. As a reminder, Kern County has free cooling centers available to our communities when temperatures are this hot. Find a location near you by visiting our website, kerncounty.com. For more information on heat safety tips, please visit kernpublichealth.com. And it's not just about keeping ourselves safe in these high temperatures, but Kern County Animal Services wants us to be extra careful with our pets. Always have fresh, cool drinking water available for your animals to drink. Dehydration can happen quickly. And dogs are more sensitive to warm weather because they can't sweat like humans to bring down their body temperature. So it's important to keep them out of direct sun and limit their activity outside. You should also keep your pets at home if possible and never leave them in your parked car. Be sure to keep your dogs groomed in the summer to help them stay cool and know your breed and know your dog. Some are more susceptible to heat illness because of age or health conditions. And if you're thinking about walking your pet, blacktop and pavement get especially hot in the summer. If the pavement's too hot for you to leave the back of your hand on it for five seconds, then it's too hot for your dog's feet. Finally, if your pets are in the heat and they're abnormally panting or gasping for air, heavily salivating or lethargic, heat stroke may be coming on. Do not use ice or ice water to cool them down, but instead just provide them with some cool water or water from a hose. For more tips on how to keep your pets feeling their best in the heat, please visit kerncountyanimalservices.org. While many of us are still relishing in the joys of summer, before we know it, it'll be time for our kiddos to head back to school. The Kern County Library wants to help local families get a jump on the new school year by making sure their children are prepared in the classroom. 
You can visit the Beale Memorial Library on Monday, July 24th, beginning at 11 in the morning, to pick up a free backpack. This event is being sponsored by the Bakersfield Adult School and Telemundo. For more information, just visit the library's website at kerncountylibrary.org. And if you can't make this event, don't worry. We'll be sharing details on Kern County Child Support's Ready, Set, Back to School Health and Wellness Fair next time. During this week's board meeting, supervisors celebrated one of our amazing departments by proclaiming this week as Probation Services Week here in Kern County. Our probation department plays a vital and varied role in our criminal justice system with their hardworking staff dedicated to reducing the incidence and impact of criminal behavior in our community. They operate detention and commitment programs, provide sentencing reports to the Superior Court, prevention services, and evidence-based treatment and rehabilitative programs, and most importantly, help Kern County youth offenders break the cycle of reoffending. Despite all the growth and changes, what has remained constant is the high level of dedication, work ethic, and passion of the men and women of the probation department. By demonstrating daily the values of accountability and opportunity, they make a positive impact in people's lives and provide for a safer community. We believe we must hold people accountable when they do something wrong. When we do this, we achieve immediate public safety. Every day, these staffs are dealing with the most challenging people in our county, in environments that are often dangerous and unpredictable. They hold them accountable and provide opportunities to those who are ready to change. If you'd like to make a difference in our community, you can apply today to join our probation department's team. Visit kerncounty.com careers to get started or check out kernprobation.com to learn more. And as a reminder, we're holding our first ever Public Safety Career Expo this Saturday, July 22nd from 9 in the morning until 12 noon. Job seekers looking to make a difference in our community are invited to come on down to our County Administrative Center at 1115 Truxton Avenue in Bakersfield to meet with staff from Kern County Fire, Probation, and the Sheriff's Office. Our Human Resources team will also be on hand to help interested applicants test and apply for open positions. People interested in working for the Sheriff's Office can test for Deputy Sheriff Trainee or Detentions Deputy at 10 a.m. on the third floor of our Administrative Center. In addition to sworn positions, all departments will be hiring for support staff vacancies. For more information, just visit our website at kerncounty.com. We can't wait for you to join our team. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you next time.